स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर सुरेंद्रा टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू पैकेड बेड रिएक्टर वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू कंडक्ट द स्टडीज ऑफ रेसिडेंस टाइम डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज व्हाट ग्लासवेयर वी रिक्वायर टू कंडक्ट द एक्सपेरिमेंट वी हैव द ब्यूरेट व्हिच हैज टू बी फिल्ड विद एनओएच ऑफ स्पेसिफाइड कंसंट्रेशन एंड वी हैव टू हैव टेस्ट ट्यूब्स टू कलेक्ट आवर सैंपल एंड हियर this is the anoh we have to fill in to the burette and this is the phenolphthalein indicator where we are going to do acid base titration and this is the measuring cylinder to know how much amount of sample has been taken and is a conical flask to know to do the titration studies and this is the syringe where we are going to inject the tracer which is hcl in our case and these are the gloves which supposed to wear while handling acids and bases which at most caution and this is the hydrochloric acid which we are going to use as a tracer you can see the concentration is about 35% and where the high amount of care is needed here what we you people are seeing is a packed bed reactor which consists of vertical glass column filled with the rasting rings and with this rasting rings will be added to increase the surface area of the reaction and we have the vertical reactor here we have and we have the two feed tanks one is the reservoir tank here at the bottom which have 25 liter capacity and it is connected with the magnetic pump and i have shown you uh, and we will see what exactly magnetic pump is from this 25 liter capacity feed tank through this magnetic pump it will go to the feed tank which is fitted at the top from where you can see the feed tank at the top and using the valve at the bottom you can able to control the flow to the rotameter which is fitted here at the bottom of the rotameter you see the needle valve where you can control the flow rate of the water to the reactor and these are the mains the one at the top you can see the pump the switch mains to the pump and the second one at the bottom is for the overall system and you need it is connected to the electric supply at the back so you have to turn on the electric supply so that the you then you have to turn the mains on and subsequently you can operate uh, the pump using the switch at the top and initially you have to fill the feed tank at the bottom of 25 liter capacity okay and then you have to turn on the magnetic pump okay so that the the water will do, go to the overhead feed tank okay at the top once the overhead tank is filled you have to operate you open the valve at the bottom so that the line water line will go to the rotameter through which it goes to the bottom of the reactor from where the water is going to pump from the bottom to top after the water has been filled to the container it will go through the exit valve at the back you can see the pipe from this pipe which is connected to the at the end of the reactor which is there at the top position so finally after reactor got filled up it will come through this exit pipe which is shown at the bottom where you can able to collect your samples here is the procedure at preset flow rates you can able to start the pump so that you can able to set the flow rate at definite liter per hour so that the reactor will start getting filled up from the bottom you can see it will go from the bottom to top you can see the liquid is getting filled inside as you can observe the meniscus of the water you will see the water is getting filled up into the reactor so once it filled up into the reactor it start coming exiting through this pipe okay that is the starting point of your experiment so once the flow rate is coming out of the exit pipe that means the reactor now got operating at its full capacity and after the steady state has been reached 
you have to put the tracer in which is our hcl okay hits for putting the tracer we have given knob at the bottom you have to open the knob and you have to put the syringe which is around 5 ml so you can open just open the knob how it looks like i'll show it to the students you can see now the prashant ji will try to put the tracer inside imagine the the syringe was filled up with hcl once you open the knob simply plug in this syringe into the knob injection port just inject the hcl now immediately you close the valve so now tracer has been injected into the reactor now what happens every 30 seconds or 1 minute or so depending upon what flow rate you are operating you have to take out the samples from the outlet you can see wait for the reactor to get filled up see the sample is i mean the water is coming out of the exit pipe what you need to do is collect your sample in a test tube and pour it into the measuring cylinder there you get to know how much amount of sample you have taken from the reactor now pour your sample into the conical flask and add one or two drops of phenolphthalein indicator and titrate against with NaOH which is filled in the burette and you can observe the end point from changing the indicator from colorless to pink color this is how the concentration now using the calculation part you can able to find out by knowing the known concentration of NaOH and unknown concentration of HCl now we are looking into the exit procedure i mean of the experiment simply you need to turn the mains off first pump and then mains off and you need to drain the feed valve from the you can completely open the valve so that after opening the drain valve everything goes to the sump and after this you need to empty the reactor from by opening the drain valve for the reactor which is fitted at the bottom now what happens once you open the drain valve slowly the reactor the water will be get drained from the reactor through the bottom